Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 8. I'm going to start this question by drawing a line from one vertex, down to the centre, and back to the next vertex. So we have this triangle here. We're going to focus in on this triangle a bit more, so it's an equilateral triangle, and if we add in that extra line here, we've got two lines, we've got 8 on the outside and 6 on the inside. We're now going to draw a line that goes straight down the centre of the triangle like this, and we're going to focus on this part of the triangle here. So a right angle triangle. We know the angle in the top left is 60 degrees because the whole triangle is an equilateral triangle. We know the length at the top is half of 6, so that's 3 centimetres. And if we label on some sides, this would be the hypotenuse, this would be the opposite, and this would be the adjacent. We can now use trigonometry to find the opposite. So tan of 60 would equal the opposite divided by the adjacent, which is 3, which means the opposite equals 3 tan 60, and tan 60 is just square root 3, so you get 3 times square root 3, which is 3 root 3. So we found one of the lengths of the triangle here, this one's 3 root 3. Now that we have this length, we can find out the area of the inside triangle here. We can do that using area equals 1 half, times the base, which is 6, times the perpendicular height, which is 3 root 3. And this will give you 9 root 3. So the area of this inner triangle is 9 root 3. Now we're going to look at the outside triangle. So we'll draw the same diagram with a line down the centre, and look at one of the triangles, so the right angle triangle on the left. Again we get 60 degrees in the top left, but this time the length of the line at the top is half of 8, which is 4. We can label the triangle in the same way as before, and again use tan, so tan of 60 equals the opposite divided by the adjacent, which is 4. So the opposite equals 4 times tan 60, which is 4 root 3. So the height of this triangle is 4 root 3. We can find the area of this triangle as well in the same way, so area equals 1 half, times the base which is 8, times the perpendicular height 4 root 3. And this will give you 16 root 3. So the area of the larger triangle was 16 root 3, and the area of the smaller triangle was 9 root 3. Now let's return to the original diagram, which looks something like this and let's remove the shading from the smaller triangle. So this area shaded at the top is the one we need. We can find this area by doing the area of the big triangle take away the area of the small triangle. So the big triangle was 16 root 3, take away the small triangle which was 9 root 3, gives you 7 root 3. So this area up here equals 7 root 3. To find the total area shaded on the diagram I just need this area 6 times, so I do 7 root 3 times by 6, which is 42 root 3. And that's your answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.